Hi guys, I'm just jumping on doing a really quick video. Um, kids are out, husband's out with the kids. I'm in the process of working on my Ed and Lorraine Warren um, file folder. If anyone follows me on Facebook and Instagram, this is the process so far and my desk is just full of different pages and printouts of what's to come. Um, a lot of printing out there for the for the um yeah the journal um and an idea's just jumped into my head and I know quite a lot of people say you know do you do tutorial videos and things like that and I don't but I just thought I know this is gonna take me probably ten fifteen minutes to make so I thought I'd just jump on with an idea anyway I started cutting it when I did decide I shall do a video. So I'm from the UK and I had a box of these tea cakes and I thought, oh, I like the clear um, film, which will be a good idea for a pocket. So for example, I could slide this in and that could be like the window of that. So because I'm working on like Ed and Lorraine and I'm like haunted houses and demonology and ghosts and things like that um i could put like i don't know something thicker in like this file folder what i'm actually in progress of making myself another idea that i've just come up with um so no that's too big but anyway you get the idea so i've cut um the box the back of the box and stuff and obviously i've left the flaps connected so maybe i could stick it in the journal like so and left the bottom flap so that will be stuck on there let's get a page let's get an a4 page got an a4 page here um so it could be stuck on um like a piece of paper like so uh, have another look maybe something a bit more stronger with it being a bit heavier let's go for this one because this is kind of the theme that i'm aiming for in this journal of it being like a file folder so i could put it on there like that and then there's plenty of room to put things in once it's stuck down anyway let's crack on so all the videos that i watch in the past and things like that um a lot of people say don't you know overthink when you are just creating some something simple like this just go with the flow so i'm just going to pick out some random if you can see here i always have a pile and um, when i'm like creating a journal i always put a pile of scraps what theme I'm working on. So it being file folder, I kind of get all like, you know, and it's based around 50s, 60s, 70s of Ed and Lorraine. So I'm getting like, you know, the 60s and um, thingy vibe of papers and things. Not going into too much detail because I'll start blabbering on. But things like this, file folders, um, random papers and things like that so i'm just gonna scraps i just put a lot of scraps in a corner what then i create different things with um i use them for making my miniature file folders and things like that so right yeah, i'm just pulling out a few scraps i did want some music paper as well um, no, I like to use like off cuts and original, that would be good, but I don't want to use a lot of that. This is like an original uh, 1939 thingy ledger, but I want to use that paper in the file for so I might use some of that from that. And we've got some music paper, so okay. Right. So these really won't be seen in the journal. So 
let's go. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to... some glue down one side I'm not saying this is the right way to do this again I don't make a lot of tutorial videos if anyone likes them then go ahead and comment and maybe I will so this um, paper, I think it's from a 1911 newspaper and it's very, very delicate. Yes, you can just see the 1911 pages are very delicate. So let's have a look. So I've glued one side there and I'm just going to stick that like so. <laughs> delicate I can just try and rip it doesn't matter so I've got covering that yaki yellow card up I'm running out of glue so do apologise. So I'm just randomly sticking. Doesn't really matter. I'm not really thinking about this. Just going with the flow. But I'm going to keep this bit till last because I could put something interesting across that. So. You know, if I'm putting something like that in, maybe I could put something what will contrast or go, if you get what I'm saying. But I will make, um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to base all around it with this vintage breaking paper, breakage paper. And I always find that if I don't think about things and just go with it, it turns out okay. There, let's put it down. I'm trying to get some form. Doesn't really matter if it's a mess, does it really? It's jagged on the end, edit. edges. Oh, I just realised you're probably watching this and thinking why she got two nails stuck on her finger and then all the rest are off. Um, yeah, <laughs> times are getting tough here in the UK. Um, I don't know what it's like for you lot in the US or anyone else for that matter. Um, Obviously, the price of living is absolutely rocketing here in the UK. Gas and electric prices are absolutely soaring. In the past two weeks, I think I've topped my gas up. I think it cost me £85 in less than two weeks. And it feels like I'm putting like £10 on every day. So, yeah. And then at the moment, luckily, the government have granted everyone something like £65 a month at the moment to get by. So it's a massive blessing at the moment. But yeah, everything's going up, food, everything is just so, yeah, because of that. Um, we're having to have a lot of cutbacks at the moment at our home. So, 
so yeah nails having my nails done was more of a luxury um so yeah so i said once you know sort of test out for it i'll probably look into my own nails i used to I used to do my own nails at one time oops god i do apologize i mean I don't know if you can see but there is quite a lot of glue in there still once it all settles it's just hard to get out i do have um this malarkey i think here so as you can see it's now let's push that aside taking some form upside down there we go let's aim here so yeah um as i was saying i've just like gone rambled on and then not even finished my conversation so yeah um yeah we're cutting back at the moment um so i'm trying to pull my nails off and i managed to get most of them off just the thumbs now but i think it might help me a lot more crafting wise having no nails because it is hurt so as you can see it's taking shape and what i'm doing now is just cutting off the edges where you can see the paper as you can see Oh. Hello. Um, I'm going to get some ink now and just go around the edges. My favourite and probably a lot of people's favourite, the good old Tim Holtz. Rust oh, I'm using Rusty Hinge. Um, where's me... Um, it's a good job I just looked then because I've got the vintage photo one somewhere. Never mind. I do like the rusty the rusty one. It gives it more of a so I'm just inking edges up. Just going around the edges. I'm not even looking to see if I'm in focus. I'm just like too looking at what I'm doing. And then just realised as I'm looking at all, I need to be in focus so you can watch me. <clears throat> I'm not going to um, go TT, but there we go. So it's the start. So again, if it's a new card, to put the top on that. So that's a page large page pocket there we go it's like i say stick bottom oh yeah do that 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 stick it on there and then i haven't got anything large just yet i'm just showing you and there you go so we're getting the idea now so let's have another look so I've done the base and I've inked around the edges. Let's give some more interest. Uh, I've got some of this. Do you know what? I've not even put a pile out yet um, for all my fabrics that I do. I got when I um, start making journals, when I the pro my process when I start making my journals is one corner. As you can see, I have the clutter all in one corner over those scraps out my massive scrap box. And then over there in that corner, let me just see if I can look. Yeah. Over there, I'll have like a massive pile of scraps of fabric. And then here, I'll just be working in this like 10 centimetre square working. And then here will be like the journal and everything else. And then I'll have this bit of space to work. <laughs> 
I don't know if that's how everybody else works when they're journaling and crafting and stuff, but yeah, that's what I tend to do. Um, I'm just looking around for just bits. I had a little um, jar somewhere with all my little bits and pieces. What? Oh, there we go. It's yeah. So I have again. I fill a jar like this up. And I go around my desk and in my box and things and look for, you know, things that I can use. So, like keys and things. This might look good. Something maybe up there, maybe. I don't know. And then, believe it or not, I saved um, a key off a corned beef tin. I just thought it was quite, you know, I don't know. So I've saved that. And then I've got some rusty paper clips. Anyway, you get the gist. <coughs> and then... This is why I don't like doing... Um, is that a double leaf for the Warrens? Maybe I could use the Tim Holtz like typewriter, um, I don't know what they're called, Iology, the buy. See when I start doing videos and I know I have to talk and start creating, I'm thinking the W for the Warrens, maybe um, I have some real vintage like cello tape. Don't ask me to spell cello tape because I can't. <laughs> um, and it was off this old vintage map from the 50s and it just easily has peeled off. So maybe I could use some of this and that. And I have some fabric left over from the cover of the journal. of devils that could get there something mm. more fingers and thumbs I'm just trying to see if that will fit in there like that that'll look quite cool and then I'm thinking about adding some um Oh, there we go. I like that. Um, um, just for a bit more pop of colour. Uh, this is actual um, oil, um, oil wax. Uh, this is like a paper bag I think from Amazon my daughter has like an oil burn in a room um, and yes she's old enough to have um, them in a room so don't worry about that and she will blow in it out and she blew on the candle or she blew, actually blew the wax melt at the top and it went all over a wall so I used um, this on the wall and got my iron and went over it so that's another that's a tip for you if you didn't know that if you spill wax on the floor or wax melts on your carpet on the wall or clothing um, like a brown paper bag um, and then you put it over the wax and then get your iron and go over it and it'll melt and then this will absorb all the oil so this is what i used so i'm using a piece of that that's the story behind that piece of scrap um sorry if i'm waffling on mm. or maybe she'll leave it blank like so put that up there like that some form 
and then I have some brads um, what I could maybe pin um, that's my idea and that's what I think I'm going to go with I'm not going to go OTT I think I'm going to have that up there and then I might maybe just stick some of these random bits on to create um, some more bits because I feel like with it being my first video and I'm trying to create things I'm blabbering on and I don't want to bore you <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll do all this um, and then I will put a picture at the end of this video with what I came up with so thank you for watching and goodbye hi okay so I'm back again and I hope that I've done this right so if you are watching this um i have successfully managed to somehow add a second video into one video i managed to edit it and get it all right me and technology when it comes to editing videos i am absolutely rubbish but i am learning okay so i did stop the video because obviously with it being kind of like a first video of me trying to come up with some sort of an idea for this like like a pocket um i didn't want to be sat in silence and you sat there watching me so i stopped the video so we went through um the background and then i came up with this idea to add some eyelets to create this so i did use the 1939 ledger ripped it off this was from the um, scrap oil covered paper uh, and then um, at the bottom here these are Tim Holtz and with it being an Ed and Lorraine Warren um, file folder that I'm doing um, this kind of this image kind of you know like a family a nice family who may be haunted so this kind of went in with it and then at the back this is again the same paper as the ledger which is the ledger <laughs> i mumble my words up so much and then this is the um 1950s cello tape that i've just stuck on and then we have a real um i don't know the name of it which I forgot, it is a real plant. Um, I've just taken it off there, just added it for an effect. So then I finally decided to use this image in this pocket. So if we just take this out, it just slides out. And then I found a scrap, not, well, not scrap, but um, a Tim Holtz um card stock what i had and i folded it in half used the image and then created this um bit of a mess at the top there's no word for this like a collage and then i used the vintage cello tape just some random like number that kind of reminded me of something that will be put in a file folder and then death <laughs> which is quite fitting for the journal um I found that in like a head title of a book and then this fabric which I it is scraps from the cover of the file folder and the cover and then this riveter riveter um card bit there and then just created something weird and then it opens up I haven't decided what I'm gonna do on the inside my ideas was to create maybe two pockets on either side and then um so there'll be four pockets in total and then maybe stick like little bits of ephemera in like i could put some pictures in a pocket or maybe one pocket and then one side i could create like a i don't know stick some of this ephemera um not ephemera some of this ledger in and it could be like a journal inside with a pocket and a picture. 
So yeah, the ideas just go and flow from there. So then it um, neatly just sits in this pocket what I made and this fabric just goes over there like so and then that just sticks at the top there and the his, his there is the pocket what made out of TK box <laughs> because of this clear uh, film um so yeah but my um my advice would be to not overthink about creating something like this just go with the flow joe um just get a few scraps in front of your stomach or trinkety things like this and just go for it just don't think about it go for it and then you can create something so simple and a pocket like that so I hope you enjoyed that and I didn't waffle on too much. So thank you and have a wonderful rest of a Sunday.